Okay, Matthew Rose is about to be loaned out and you guys voted and chose the league in which Rose will be loaned out too. Now we've had a great time at Brentford, but the manager and staff think it's best for our career if we get loaned out for six months, you know, to get playing time as like a regular starter, hopefully. Now we are not happy about this, but it's also a chance for us to yet again, prove our doubters wrong. So if you guys want to keep seeing more of the series, then drop a like down below and uh, we got to start packing here. But first, as you can see, I think we need to take a shower. You can literally see the stench. So very, very quick shower here. So we're packing our clothes, we're packing our belongings and we found out which league we're being loaned out to. And that league is going to be the Eredivisie in the Netherlands. I mean, it's a league that's known for developing a lot of young talent. So it makes a lot of sense. Although we're still not ecstatic about it. Now, in terms of the team we're playing for, as you can see, Fabrizio Romano reports that Matthew Rose will be loaned out to Vitesse in the Eredivisie. I mean, they're like a mid-level to low-level uh, Eredivisie team, but they guaranteed us regular starting time. So as we're researching our new team, we get a call on our cell phone and it's our old manager, Neil Wood. Now he tells us he heard about our loan move and we told him that we're not exactly happy about it, but we're going to try and make our best of it. And Neil Wood says being loaned out is just a part of being a very young, good player. That Brentford value us. They just want us to get regular starting time. And he says, hey, go play in the Eredivisie. If you play well, season two, you come back to Brentford, you could start regularly. Like the sky is the limit here. And as annoyed as we are, he's right. So we tell him thanks. We'll be in touch. So for the last time in a while, we sleep in our own bed. And then tomorrow morning, we head off to Brentford offices. We sign the contract and we're off to the Netherlands. All right, 8 a.m. We go into Thomas Frank's office. We're here to like officially sign the contracts. And he tells us there's been a development, a last minute development here. There's a new team that wants to bring us in on loan. So we're like, all right, uh, who, who is this team? And he says another team in the Eredivisie, but a much better team than Vitesse. He says that team is PSV. That last minute they come in to try to steal the deal away from Vitesse. And PSV manager Rude Van Nistelrooy promises us to be a regular first team player and a potential regular starter for PSV. Because I mean, as we know, they just lost uh, Matawake, Cody Gakpo, like probably looking for some January reinforcements. So we take a second to think about it. Like it might be a bit harder to fight for a starting spot in this team, but our gut is telling us to choose PSV. So we choose PSV to sign for on loan. So we sign the contract. Thomas Frank wishes us good luck on our loan and we are heading to the Netherlands, to the Eredivisie. So we go out the office, our teammates wish us one final goodbye. We'll see you in six months, they say. And uh, we are heading to the Netherlands. So we take a same day flight from England all the way to the Netherlands, like from leaving our parents' house to get our own apartment to not moving to a foreign country. This is just like so much change for us. So we land at the airport, someone from PSV picks us up and tells us they'll take us to where we'll be staying for the next six months. Like I'm already missing our apartment. So we arrive at the apartment complex and he gives us the keys and says, if you need anything else, let him know and make sure to report to PSV training first thing in the morning. So I'm thinking maybe we can try and make this like into a little vacation. Like we probably got a new nice apartment. We're in a foreign country. We can experience new things. All of that is true, except a new nice apartment because uh, this is our new apartment here for the next six months. Uh, so first thing I noticed is uh, the front door has a window. I guess privacy is not a thing here. And so you walk in and so far, I mean, it's not, it's not that bad. Uh, the decor is questionable. And then to the right, we got our bathroom, which, okay, it's a it's a solid, solid bathroom. It's a little stain there. But you know what? Bathrooms, a bathroom's not the worst thing. Now, this is the kitchen. Now, it's not our kitchen back home. I mean, there's just a, a large feeling of things being dirty here. Things don't look clean. Like, these countertops have not been cleaned in six months. I mean, the fridge and stove do match, though. We got some, like, chip paint on the cabinets, of course. Uh, we also have a computer, which uh, looks like it's from, like, 1946. It is literally the first computer. And now, uh, this is the living room. So, we got a, we got a punching bag. That is gonna get some use. So, there's the couch. I mean, it's just, it looks like a solid, solid sofa. Not sure about that chair. Uh, we have an exposed like power panel. What a nice addition to the living room. And then we have like some exposed uh, pipes. Like, oh, that's nice. And then uh, this is our TV. Uh, there was no TV stand. So we just we just stacked our suitcases up as a TV stand. Like, yeah, that's where we're going to be watching our uh, Premier League matches. And also playing FIFA on. And then I mean, bedroom. I mean, what else do we expect? Coloring's weird. We got a dresser. We got a bed. The bedroom overall is not the worst part of this apartment. Like we weren't expecting a five star apartment here, but we were also not expecting this. So uh, we get settled in while uh, watching some TV on the world's smallest TV. Like this is our home for the next uh, six months. Now there's not really a dining table. So I guess we eat on the couch. Another great feature of this apartment. Okay. It's been a long day of traveling. So we eat off to bed tomorrow morning. We report for our first training session with PSV. All right. Before that though, I think you should improve your stamina as you have to work both offensive and defensive. Yeah, definitely our play style box to box mid. We're going to need our stamina to be high. We actually have a decent starting stamina at 78. So we're like, naturally we got a pretty high motor here, but as time goes on, we're Need to improve that because Rose needs an agent. You should use uh, Jorge Mendez. Yeah, we still need to hire an agent. Like it would be nice. That'd be our dream agent, maybe. But we're gonna need to sign someone soon. We gotta sign someone we can trust to be our agent. Like that doesn't take advantage of us. As you can see, we've upgraded to a 71 overall now. So from the last episode, another four skill points. So ball control 74, dribbling to 70, and then short passing all the way to 79. So this is like a very decent upgrade. Our passing's better, our dribbling and ball control are much better. I mean, coming to PSV, coming to their division, I'm hoping we can develop our skills even more. So the next morning, we arrive at the PSV offices. The training.
training ground for our very first day as a PSV player. Manager introduces himself, of course. Rude Van Nistelrooy is our manager. And there it is, Matthew Rose in a PSV kit for the very, very first time. We have officially made our move. Now, the funny thing is, whenever teams Salford, May United, uh, Brentford, all their colors were always in red. But we have officially made the move. Now, this is solid team. We got Sangata. We got uh, Luke Diong, who's currently the captain. We got Xavi Simons, who we can maybe form like a partnership with. That'd be very nice. We also have Fabio Silva on loan here. But no matter what, okay, no Cody Gakpo. We are the reinforcements brought in. So currently, PSV are 11 points off Ajax in first. Well, we're in fourth, which is not a bad spot. As you can see, we almost joined Vitesse. They're in 17th. So it feels like we dodged the bullet there, maybe. Now, PSV are in the Europa League. Uh, okay, they actually topped their group. So we're going to be in the Europa League. Matthew Rose may be playing in Europe for the first time. So that is pretty big. Hey, if we become a regular starter here, I think we could do some very good things here at PSV. So here it is. First training session at PSV. Van Nistelrooy says, you work hard in training, you'll get game time for sure. It's guaranteed. And then he's very excited to see us play. He's got some large expectations for us. And also, Xavi Simons introduces himself too. Of course, says, welcome to the club. Looking forward to playing together. Now, ourselves and Xavi are kind of like in similar spots here. Like a little bit of a flop at PSG now trying to prove himself at PSV. Like pretty much same thing as us. So we say, yeah, we're excited to play. It's going to be fun getting out on the field together. All right, Van Nistelrooy wants to see us run some attacking scenarios. Okay, we got a really good chance of like honing our skills here at PSV. And I mean, we can always try and catch uh, Ajax. It's a, it's a tough task, but I mean, that is our task basically. Pretty simple first day of training. Rose taps it in for a tap in and they score. Matthew Rose, a little dink over to the captain, Luke De Jong, and he scores. I mean, we got a pretty good strike here. Kind of like Ivan Tony. Luke De Jong is a solid striker for the Eredivisie. Although we did just miss that chance. Into Matthew Rose. Oh, we just went for something special. Showing a bit of flair. All right, Matthew Rose, go for power shot in front of goal, into the back of the net, into the back of the net. First training session, that's an A. Rude Van Nistelrooy says, great session. And then next game, you're not starting yet, but you'll be brought on as a sub for sure at some point. So after a good training session, we head back home. And despite the circumstances, we are ready to make the best out of this opportunity this next six months. And now they didn't give us like a workout gym or anything, but they didn't give us a punching bag, which would be very nice for getting our anger out on. I mean, it's an underdog story just like Rocky. You know, this computer is so old, it actually has one game on it and it has Tetris on it. That is how old this computer is. But you know what? It's something to kill time because our first PSV game is tomorrow. Now, as we're playing, we get a phone call and it's David Beckham calling us. Says he's calling to check in on us, see how we're doing. He heard about the loan move. And we tell him like, yeah, we wanted to stay at Brentford, but we're trying to make the best out of this. And Beckham says he was loaned out early in his career too. He was loaned out to Preston and he says it's a chance for you to develop your skills more. And then we've got a good manager in Rude Van Nistelrooy. All right, fast forward the next day though. It's time for our first PSV game. All right, for our first game PSV, you know, we got some new boots. We got the light blue boots. Now we're trying to get sponsored like maybe Mizuno New Balance, but as of right now, we've got no boot sponsor yet. And also we're thinking about having a new haircut for, uh, you know, a new spell in our career here at PSV. I think next episode we'll try and have a new cut. But first game for PSV at home against Head and Veen, which I don't know how to pronounce. All right, into the dressing room for the match. Luke De Jong, the captain of PSV, comes up to us and tells us you did well in training. Just bring that same energy into the game and you'll do great. And then Rude Van Nistelrooy tells us, be ready to come on. And oh, trust me, we are ready. So we tell him we're ready, we're ready to make an impact boss and also ready to prove every single doubter wrong. So fast forward, 60 second minute, Rose coming on. It's currently 2-0 to PSV. So we have the lead. It is time for our Eredivisie and PSV debut. All right, here we go. In front of the home fans, Matthew Rose coming on for the first time. We are looking to make a very large impact here at PSV. I mean, hey, we're 2-0 up. There's not a lot of pressure here. Just keep the lead. Now, this is a league we should, we should pretty much dominate in. Like we were doing it in the Prem, but Eredivisie Busy. We should be one of the better players in this league. We should be. All right, that's good ball to Matthew Rose. First touch and a PSV kit. Now, I don't think uh, Chavi Simone's on the field this game. I think it's probably brought up on the bench, maybe. Okay, we're trying to make a very big impact. We just almost we almost just nutmeg that guy, I think. We have never been more hungry in our career than this. Matthew Rose into. I gotta learn names. I don't know any of my teammates, but that's a good ball to Matthew Rose. We got a cross to the striker, cross back. That's a shot. Almost our first assist immediately. Okay, we're taking corners. I like that. Matthew Rose swinging in the corner. Beautiful. Teammate doesn't get to it, though. Ball into Matthew Rose. Finesse shot, chance, finesse shot. Keeper saves it. That was a good shot right there. We're not taking corners on the opposite side, which makes sense. That one is going to be cleared. In to Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot left-footed shot over the net. Okay, we're a little bit too eager there, but we want, we want to score so badly. Prove the doubters wrong. We also have to get better at defending, which I feel like towards the end of our end of the few months, we've gotten a little better. That's a good save by the keeper, though. It's just something we got to keep working on. Corner swung in. That should be cleared by our teammate. It is. Can we actually win this? We might be able to, actually. Teammate. Get it to Rose. I think he did, actually. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Now we got... Oh, just destroy that defender into the striker. No, oh, this striker's going to lose it. We just destroyed that defender, though. We're showing a little bit of skill there. We're not exactly a skiller, but we showed it there. Are right, we going to try and switch the play here. Oh, a little left foot half volley pass to our teammate. That's not bad. Into Matthew Rose. Looking for a teammate out wide. The right pass, I think. He's going to cross it in. Matthew Rose header. Keeper makes the save. We almost just scored our first goal. It's not the bad debut. I'd like a goal and an assist to go with it, but so far... It's been not bad. What are our teammates? What did we just do there? Matthew Rose. Great pass to. I'm not even sure who. 
and he's gonna send it wide. That could have been another assist. Hey, we're making things happen though. Wait, Xavi is on the field. I didn't see him. Was he brought on as a sub? I don't even know. Rose into De Jong. That's gonna be a through ball maybe into Matthew Rose. We were making the run. Yeah, we are like pretty much dominating this game right now. Rose over to Xavi. Is that the first? That is the first assist, and it's to Chavi Simons. Is there going to be a new duo here at PSV? Matthew Rose and Chavi Simons. Because we just turned a little bit, left foot to pass into him. He did most of the work, got by those two defenders, and then it's a solid finish for 3-0. Debut assist, though, for Matthew Rose. Oh, even some defensive work. The tackle leading straight into the attack. Matthew Rose making a run into Luke De Jong. That pass was pitiful from us. Oh, that was so bad. Hey, we're pressing, though. We're pressing. How did he get biased there? How do we not steal that? Cross in the box. Whoa, that, that's a great cross and a great header. That was a great goal, but it won't affect the game, I don't think, that much. All around one defender. We're showing out here a little bit. He rose into Luke De Jong. Luke De Jong. He's looking for us. Gonna get it to Matthew Rose. Play it out wide. Good ball. Cross maybe into Matthew Rose. Malgazi. Not gonna reach us. We're gonna try and fight for it, though. And we don't. Okay, boys. What are we doing? This can't be 3-2. They just hit the crossbar. What a shot. Okay, we're kind of lucky with that one. Ball into Rose. We have one more chance, maybe, for an attack. Back into Rose. Luke De Jong, I see you. Luke De Jong, we're overlapping. Luke De Jong, find something, do something. Okay, what, oh, okay, what a pass, actually. Final chance of the game, cross in. Rose, we're up for it. We just got sandwiched. Ball into Rose, though. Rose, oh, we can't get a touch on it. That's gonna be game. All right, you know what? 3-1, we had an assist. We looked, like, incredibly good coming on there. So I would say a very solid debut in the air divisie for Matthew Rose. Like, we are here to tear things up in this league, in this foreign country. So into the dressing room, the boys, or that was a very good performance from us. That was, uh, was a very nice first game. And look at that. We're training before the next game, and the assistant manager comes and posts the starting 11 for the next game. I mean, hey, it's only taken us one game, but it seems that already Rude Van Nistelrooy is giving us the start. Rude Van Nistelrooy calls us over and tells us after that last performance, he wants to see more. So he's starting us in this next game. He says you've earned it and to give it your all out there. So that right there is the lineup. We're actually playing as an attacking midfielder, like not as much box to box, which arguably, I mean, it complements our best ability. So maybe that should be our best spot. I don't know. Our very first start in the air divisi. So an assist in game number one. Game number two, we're starting. What can Matthew Rose do? We are looking to have a very good game in this one. And it's kicked off. We know Thomas Frank. We know everyone that doubted us is watching. Matthew Rose into Luke De Jong. Back to Matthew Rose. Looking for Luke De Jong. Not a bad ball. That was not a bad chance at all, actually. Now, playing as a central attacking midfielder, you got to kind of like, I guess, be more ready to connect the attack, not so much defensive work, which once again, probably uh, compliments us. Our skill is the best. Oh, what a move by PSV. Somehow... Oh, they actually do score it. I was going to say, how do you not score that chance? That was beautiful. We weren't even involved really, but that's 1 0 to PSV. All right, beautiful start. All right, free kick for the other team. I got to pronounce these names. I don't even know how to pronounce half like the air to busy teams, honestly. Okay, that was a very interesting touch, but we're away here. Oh, man, I wanted I wanted a better through ball than that. Okay, ball in the box. Defense is nowhere to be found. What a block by our center back, though. Now, we're still a midfielder, though. We still got to, like, try to, uh, obviously, to help defend. Luke De Jong, though, out wide to Ogazi. Probably one of our better players. Ogazi crossed that thing in. Matthew Rose, we are so not fighting for that one, though. Man, we play faster at PSV. This is almost like a Premier League match. How fast we're playing. What a touch by Rose. Ogazi in to Matthew Rose shot and that's our first goal in the Eredivisie what a shot and what a move by PSV that right there was beautiful work first start that that touch really to get by like three defenders was amazing then El Ghazi into Rose it's a solid finish hey Matthew Rose has arrived we just need to keep building on this as you can imagine we score and get a lot of assists we could really improve our skills here like in our overall maybe in like the mid 70s before we head back to Brentford I mean that's the goal here all right let's switch the play to El Ghazi okay don't don't do a switch to play with the left foot matthew that was not good so far though i'm like what i'm seeing from this uh psv team like we are one of the better teams in this league we should be at least that's gonna be a ball into matthew rose it's gonna be it is we have a chance for maybe our second goal and we're gonna finish that we have a brace in the first half oh man what a first half for matthew rose we worked through their defense so easily right there we are stat padding in a farmer's league in front of the goal it's just actually a solid finish like the angle is not the best but we get it by the keeper there and two goals in the first half this has gone swimmingly so far oh as i'm saying that they might score but he's offside that's unfortunate for them all right head that over to is it till or teal i don't even know looking for this pass though okay that's into luke de Jong. Lowen, okay, he could have found us for our hat trick, but he, he decided to shoot. He is a striker, so I'm cool with it. You can imagine PSV fans are sad about Cody Gakpo and, and Matawake leaving, but now they're excited about 18 year old Matthew Rose. Into the second half, all we need is just more of the same, really. All even a tackle for Matthew Rose. We are here for revenge. Luke De Jong into Matthew Rose, trying to find the pass. Gets it too. Luke De Jong, he's gonna shoot into Matthew Rose. 
We're gonna try and fake shot a little bit. Go for a shot. Okay, we tried we tried something there. It did not work though. Try this again. Matthew Rose. Oh man, we just got tackled. Okay, we actually passed it there. That's a pass. I'm gonna call that a pass. Into our teammate, he shoots, and then it's gonna go wide. And Eredivisie ain't the Premier League, that's all I'm saying. As I say that, we're about to concede. As I say that, we're gonna concede. Nope, Cuba makes a good save. Almost uh, just jinx our own team. Ball sent in. That is gonna be over the net, thankfully. Oh, we got, we got numbers here a little bit. Luke De Jong, looking for Matthew Rose. Look for him, finds us. We're gonna try to get an assist though. Oh, we were too slow there. Can we make up for it though? Into Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot a finesse shot. That was actually so bad. Uh, scratch that one from the record, please. All right, doing a little bit of defensive work. Matthew Rose, we didn't win that one. That's a shot right at the keeper. And we got space here. This defense, the other team is not that great. Into Luke De Jong. What a touch by Luke De Jong. What a pass. Is he gonna get to it? No, he's not. And our front three has played so good though. All over the top defense. See how they hold up. That's a great move by that guy, but our keeper's had a very good game in this one. I think he's one of our better players, Benitez. Oh, that's around one. We got a few more, though. Oh, around the other one. Matthew Rowe is going on the run of his life. Looking for his teammates. Looking for his teammates. Oh, we can't finish it off. We just ruined it. Hey, we're becoming like a little skiller. We're like Anthony. We're in the air debates for two games. We already know how to skill. All right, a few minutes left. See if we can get one more thing in this game. That's a bad pass. Okay, we're running forward, though. We got space. We're going for a power shot. Okay, it goes over the net. Was that selfish? It might be. Was it the worst shot ever, though? Uh, probably not. I had some fizz to it. But that is full time. 3-0. It's a brace for Matthew Rose in his first start. Like, playing as an attacking mid, we got a lot more freedom to go forward, obviously. And hey, that might unlock more of our attacking ability in this team. If Van Nistelrooy keeps us at cam. The boys are hyped about that one. That was a very, very solid performance there. Especially, especially for us. Van Nistelrooy tells us, pretty much simply put it, keep playing like that, you'll keep starting. So we tell him, yes, sir, we're gonna try to keep it up. Like, I feel like we're gonna absolutely tear it up in this league. And after a game like that, of course, the media wants to talk to us. So our first interview at PSV. First question is from ESPN. They say, congrats on your first game. Congrats on those two goals. And they ask, do you feel like you have a point to prove in your loan move here? And yeah, we're a little bit angry about our loan move here. So I feel like we're going to let some of that out with these answers here. So we say that in a way, yes, like we're here to prove our ability. And we say that having a point to prove in our play also will help the team win. So that's our two goals. Next question is from Sky Sports. And they ask us, do you think you guys can catch Ajax in first place, like in PSV? Try to make a comeback for that league title or title race. And we say with us here, we have a chance that we, if we play the best of our ability, PSV has a chance of catching Ajax and we're going for this league title. Now that kind of just came out like that's one of our more uh, I guess like egotistical answers and that's it for the interview. And we head back into the dressing room and Luke Dion comes up to us and says well, he knows that we're just on loan here but don't lose the team mentality you have. Like play for the team not for yourself. Like I think we're letting some of that uh, loan anger come out in a bad way. So we tell him that we'll keep that in mind moving forward. So we head home after that game and man like after sitting down and cooling off a bit we realize we can't let our ego get in the way of the team. Like we got to remain the team player that we are. Like even here out on loan. So after a long game we head in bed for the night. Like, this is probably gonna be, like, the biggest six months of our career. Like, it's either sink or swim. But if you enjoyed this episode, drop a like, hit that sub button down below. Especially if you guys wanna keep seeing more of this series. Um, click on the screen if you wanna watch the latest Venezia Crimwood episode. And I hope you have a great day.